Hi there, my name is Aaron Landerman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, and I'm in the senior design lab with my students. Daniel, Egeman, Aiden, and Carol. And Carol's behind the camera, and we're currently testing their synthesizer. This is the filter? That's the cutoff, yeah. Ah, there we go. So we've got a sawtooth wave that we can change the amount of the sawtooth wave going in. We've got a triangle wave. We can mix the triangle and the sawtooth. Here's a filter cutoff. And here is the resonance control. So let me put in some resonance. We can put in a ton of resonance. Here are the filters self-oscillating. So if I actually... Whoa, that's bonkers. <laughs> oh, what did I just do there? Here, let me turn the resonance back down. Okay, so here's no input going into the filter. So it's fully self-resonating. Here are ADSR controls that they're about to test. And this is a senior design project that's in progress. And right now what they're testing is the interface from the front panel to the Adafruit Grand Central Metro M4 that reads the knob values using the analog to digital converters. There's a couple of digital analog converters that are driving the oscillator pitch and the frequency of the voltage controlled filter. The other control signals are PWM output, so they're being filtered by these. These are solid key? Yeah. Solid key filters and going into the analog engine, which has a CEM3340 VCO, a 3320 VCF, and there's a 2164 VCA chip that's both the final VCA and controls the amount of triangle wave, the amount of sawtooth, and it's not hooked up right now, but there's also a pulse with a variable pulse width. So all of the various parameters going into the analog board are all under software control.